Hey guys, what's up? My name is Vic Taylor and welcome to episode 41 of my Request Anything in Black Ops series. Today we are going to be doing Adsid 93s loadout, who's been on this series quite a bit recently. He made several requests all in a short, short space of time. So that's the explanation for that. It's a really cool story, isn't it? But for this episode we have the RPK with extended mags and reflex, Python Snubnose, Semtex, Willy Beat, Claymore, Lightweight Pro, Warlord Pro and Tac Mask Pro. And yes, I was a bitch and got a kill out of the bushes. I just wanted to see if I could actually do it or if it was only the noobs that could. So, kill me, why don't you? But for what I'm going to be talking about today, free running. And if you don't know what free running is, it is taking a area around you. Usually people do it in like city blocks and everything. And just basically running down the street and leaping over things like parked cars or fences and doing all these kind of rolls and climbing moves. And basically if you don't know what free running is, Google it. Don't rely on that explanation, please, because it doesn't sound very fun at all. But I've done a little bit of free running in my time. It was quite popular when I was in high school. But so was this sport thing, going off on a quick little tangent, where you took a length of rope, or, you know, something similar, something basically long and thin that was bendy, and you swung it around, and you could basically do martial arts moves with that. And I never really got the... I don't know, I didn't really see how effective that could actually be. But it seemed to work for a lot of the uh, older kids in high school. That was a very short craze. Free running's a lot longer than that. But I've got into free running a little bit lately because I'm recently started up a college course. I went on it today actually for the first time and the language is so fucking simple and there are so many proofread errors in the first module, the first study book, if you will, of my course that it is just did no one bother to read this through before you sent it to me? I mean, there are incomplete sentences. One time, the sentence actually continues off the page, and they're hoping for, I don't know, some psychic skills to be able to finish it. So that pissed me off a little bit. Though it's pretty funny, because basically I'm doing a childcare course, and all it's telling me is to not hit children and to respect them. And I'm like, well, it's a little bit of obviousness that you're going into this course right now, isn't it? I mean, obviously, if I want to work with kids, I'm not going to fucking hit them. And if I did want to hit them, then I'm probably not going to pay attention to you. So, I don't know. The human race boggles my mind sometimes, but free running. I've got uh, back into it with some of my kids, that my kids, the kids that are down the road. We hung out a lot uh, over the high school years where I was homeschooled, basically from when I was 14 to 16, and we hung out a lot, we did a lot of shit because we were the only homeschooled kids in the area. And uh, I think there's a 17 year old, a 15 year old and a 14 year old, which is, you know, a nice age range, they're all pretty mature, they're all cool. And we tend to do free running over the front gardens of the people down my street and well they don't mind usually I mean we have a side that we do it on because the people on the other side actually mind but as long as we don't crush any flowers or you know scratch any cars they're usually cool with it and usually we don't you know let them see us doing it which is the end the end all of it and recently I got back into it and we've been looking for bigger things to try, bigger things to do, because we've run the course that we've got it set up so many times that it's getting a little bit boring. There are only so many times you can jump over fences and, you know, dolphin dive off the roofs of cars into very soft uh, grass that, you know, it gets a little bit boring after a while. So, we looked at alternative things. There is an army assault course down on the local field that we could try, but it's a bit hard and that is basically the only thing it's a bit hard and we don't want to strain ourselves which is it's just hilarious when I tell you the ending of this story we didn't want to strain ourselves and then look where we ended up but that's a bit hard it's got really high things that you have to jump over technically we're not allowed to use it anyway you know how it is but we actually went up the high street and tried and it just didn't work at all because I don't know about America or where they usually do these kind of free run things in high streets and everything but our high street doesn't really have much on it apart from wide open pavement and that's just it it's a couple of bins there's a few benches but that's it we basically on our high street we have a huge wide pavement which is actually wider than the entire 
two lanes of the road where the cars drive down. So either someone on the city council was really, really safety conscious or something's gone horribly, horribly wrong. But we were really bored and then the 14 year old, the youngest, decided that it would be an awesome idea to free run over the top of the roofs of the houses on our road. And I, I'm sure you can see where this is going. And it didn't end in a funny or a terribly insane way. He didn't fall off the top of the house and break a leg. He didn't fall off the top of the house into the neighbour's fish pond, which would have been hilarious, which I, I would have filmed. I would have quickly pulled out my camera and I would have filmed him soaking wet in the pond. But it didn't end like that. There were, I think there were about 40, 30 to 40 houses along my street. So it's not you know, that many. But he got up onto the first by climbing on top of a low garage. I don't know if you have them in America, but, you know, it's basically what it says on the tin, a low garage. And he got up onto the top, and our houses, they kind of slant up into a triangle at the middle. It's basically a typical house. It's a stereotypical house. And he ran along the top. He dodged around the first chimney fine. Then... He got to the end of the first house and realised that the gap between the two houses was slightly too far for him to jump, so he came back. And while you may think that this is a terribly anticlimactic end to the story, it is hilarious to see this 14-year-old who was so butch and macho five minutes ago. He was heading up onto the roof saying, yeah, I can do this. You know, you are all too scared to do this. I will run across the top of the houses. I will show you up and then you will film it and we will put it on YouTube because they're lightly into YouTube. I mean, I think they post things about their pets and everything. And... He got, gets to the end of the first house and he decides to come back down and he's just kind of, well, it's too long. I'd, I'd like to see you do it. And thankfully, none of us did it. I mean, I'm, I wish, I wish that I could say that I got up there and ran the entire length of the street on the houses. But apart from being totally unbelievable, I, I'm not that good at free running that I can go up like 40 feet in the air. It's probably not 40 feet, but I'm terrible at measuring things and run across the top of the houses. So that's my story of the day. Do not run across the top of your houses because you will look like a moron. <laughs> or you'll fall off and your friends will all get a very big laugh, basically is what I'm trying to say. But they're all fine. No one saw us. I mean, I'm sure someone must see us because it is impossible not to see four teenagers just fucking around the street all the time. But oh well. I'm not the only girl either, which is a nice change. I'm usually the only girl, because all the girls in my neighbourhood, apart from this one, just want to do shopping and dresses and shit like that. I mean, one wanted to do curtain design. Why? In what teenager's head is curtain design something that you actually want to be involved in? I don't know. Maybe interior design, but she's not even into interior. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed this story and this gameplay. I ended up 35 and 7 with the RPK. Reflex and extended mags. I really enjoyed playing it and it's jungle so it's always going to be beast. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.